Okay, this is a video that I'm creating to uh, demonstrate timer capture um, on the STM32. Uh, we're using a Nucleo L432 board. Uh, and so I wanted to uh, um, show this because the timer capture we're in the, in, the, in the embedded systems class that I teach at Indiana University in the Intelligent Systems Engineering program. Uh, we're building a light sensor. That's the, our, our class project is a light sensor. And so we're, you know, the... the um, the light sensor that we actually use is a TSL-237, which is a, um, a part that uh, basically has a photodiode, and that photodiode then, uh, the, the current coming off of that photodiode um, will um, run into a, a current to frequency converter. And so what the output of the, the chip is is basically a, a frequency that varies um, from the hundreds of kilohertz down to the um, sub sub hertz range uh, when it gets very dark, and so in fact um, the, the application that we're doing for this light sensor is to measure um, the light levels at night. So we're going to be actually uh, measuring down in that in that sub hertz range when the system's actually deployed. And so we're going to use a timer capture um, to to measure this signal. And so I wanted to show. Um, this is partially for my class, but if you're interested, um, you know, if you're just watching this from the, 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 the web or from YouTube, you know, you're, you're more than welcome to, to follow along. But this is basically for my class to, uh, to show you how to hook the sensor up and then also how to um, get the basic timer capture infrastructure working. And then you're going to integrate that into your application. So let's go ahead and get started here. I want to start with, you know, how do you get this... Um, this sensor hooked up, and, and what we're trying to do is we're trying to hook it up. Um, you know, this is our this is our laboratory page or the page that we use um, to describe our labs. And so here's our light sensor, and this basically just shows okay, the ground pin goes here, the VDD pin comes down here to this three volt line, and this um, this output pin, this is our going to be our frequency, comes over here to this uh, PA five pin here. And that's, um, um, th that's where our timer capture is going to be set up. So we need to wire it um, in this way um, so that um, when we go ahead in and uh, create the, the, the software, we're hooked up to the right pin, right? It's, that's where the linkage happens. All right. So let's go ahead and back to our, uh, my document camera here. And so you're going to use a solid wire here. I think this is, um, um, what is this, 24 gauge? This is 22 gauge solid wire. You can cut yourself off, you, know, you can strip off the ends, use some strippers like this. Um, open these, up. these are in the lab. Hopefully you have some of these if you're working from home. You can strip these back for a little more than that. Strip off enough that you create a little end like that that then you can you know, plug into the board, right? And so that's what this stuff is good for. I'm gonna use some pieces that I've already got pre-cut now, one of the things that's, that's important here when you're working with um, when you're working with electronics like this is to not please don't work with the um, system powered on. That's that's typically um, not a good idea because if you make a mistake, the the mistake is um, um, causing instantaneous damage um, that you may not even realize that it's actually happened. And next thing you know, things are, are broken and, uh, and they're not going to work. So there's our, our uh, device. I'm going to go ahead and pull power from it here. And so I'm going to take our uh, light sensor. Here, I better, I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. Here's our light sensor here. I'm going to plug it in. Um, trying to find the top of it here. I'll plug it in right here. All right. And so, um, yeah, so there's, there's the light sensor. Now, I'm going to use the, the bus over here to connect up the power and ground pins from the Nucleo board out to these buses, and then I'll use a jumper to go from the bus over to the chip itself. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first. So I, if I look at my, my drawing over here, if I come over to my, this drawing, I can look. Well, pin 2 is going to be my ground, so... Let's come back over to this and go ahead and hook it up. Make sure I'm in the, yeah, so there. I'll go ahead and hook up 
that to the bus, that, oops, let me get it in. There we go. And then I'll go ahead and if I come again, come down to, you know, I'll, I'll hook up power. Power comes down here and it's on the um, second to, to last pin here. And when I say power, I'm talking about three volts here. I want to run it at three volts because that's the, uh, the regulator that's actually regulating the, the voltage of the SDM32 is actually stepped down from the five volt USB. So let me go and put this back in the docking camera. So there you go. There's a, a connection from the second to last pin over to the red bar. Now I'm going to hook up my light sensor. And again, the order matters here. Don't hook it up. If you hook it up backwards, you'll damage it. So um, I'm going to hook up this one here to, to, if we go back to our camera here. And so I'm going to hook up ground to my ground bus. So there we go. And then I'll hook up uh, power to it. And again, the colors of the wires don't matter. All your wires can be red if you if you so choose. It just it's it's more of a convention that you would get, you know, give certain colors, you would associate certain colors of wire to certain say voltages. That's definitely not a requirement. All right, so I'm gonna the VDD is the center pin here, so I'm gonna hook it up to the to the red bus here. I'm gonna fold these flat so that it's just easier to work. All right, now I've got this last pin and I've got to count pins. Um, let's see, let me go back to the docks here. So if I, if I count, I'm hooking this one to this pin here and it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it's the eighth pin down from the top. So I'm gonna hook up this third pin, the output to the eighth pin down. And so in, in my case here, you hook this up right. Oops. These, these are actually numbered, so I can go into this here. I'm going to make this up a little bit longer. Longer wire here. The one I've got is a little bit short. So I'll come into... Pin eight here. All right, so now as I've said in class, uh, those of you who, who know me, uh, boards are so cheap right now, oftentimes um, cutting a board is a better way to do this, but um, you know, if you're going to do anything that's more than just a, a quick prototype to get a little piece of software running, go cut a board. Um, it, it, you'll save yourself some, some time and, and headache. All right, so um, that's the system wired up. And so we can go ahead and, uh, and power it up here and just make sure that um, if that red light doesn't come on, if you power it on and this red light doesn't come on, that means the regulator inside the chip is crowbar. That means it is not working. In other words, you're drawing too much current. You've got something wired wrong, and the regulator inside the chip is basically overheating and then turning off. And it may, it may be that red light comes on and goes off. That usually means that things are um, um, not, not, not working. Th thing, you, you've, you've misconnected the, the board. So in this case, um, everything looks okay at this level. Now, in the next video, I'll show you how to look at this with the scope. And that hopefully will, um, that you can confirm, oh yeah, I am getting a signal from this thing. All right. So more next time.